New York. New York, New York, New York. Hey guys, I'm Chen. I'm one of the bakers here at Crumbs and Doilies. Here at the bakery, we make thousands of New York cookies every week. We have over 14 flavors of cookies, so I thought it'd be fun for you to come along and see the life cycle of a cookie. Yeah. I'm going to do a chocolate chip so I can give you that. Okay, cool. It's so handy having all the ingredients measured at the start because it means once you start mixing, you can just go, go, go. So I'm going to start with the butter. It's cold, straight from the fridge, which I chopped up earlier. Next in is the sugar and we'll give this a beat. So this doesn't need to beat for long, just around 30 seconds so it breaks down the butter into those big nuggety chunks. Then we go in with the chocolate chips and our recipes have loads of chocolate chips in which is what makes them so good. And you don't want to have the speed too high because they go everywhere and we've all done that. Then it's all the dry ingredients, so the flour, salt, baking powder, and this goes straight in. I'm just going to use a tea towel to cover it while we mix in the flour because it's a bit messy sometimes. Last in is the eggs and they're already beaten so we don't overmix the dough. There we go. Last mix. There we go. Good to go. So now all the dough's been mixed, we've got this big mountain of dough. This is actually 75 cookies, so you've probably seen Dane and Sally balling the cookies on the channel, but this is a lot bigger, bigger scale. So each ball is 125 grams, and yeah, so I'm doing chocolate chip, Michaela's doing birthday. Now I'm just going to put the lid on and then these will go in the freezer for a couple of hours so that they stay nice and chunky when we bake them and then they'll get baked tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. 
So that's the first two batches done. Now we're going to go on to mixing the rest of the four flavours we're doing today. So the cookies we're making today are chocolate chip, birthday, raspberry white chocolate, Biscoff and cereal milk. This is our Biscoff cookie dough and everybody loves Biscoff and this cookie's actually got a hidden Biscoff centre so it's extra extra delicious. When you get your cookies at home if you pop them in the microwave or oven for a couple of minutes it makes the Biscoff centre go all gooey, liquidy and it is delicious. <laughs> This is our cereal milk cookie. It's got sweet corn powder, toasted milk powder, and caramelized white chocolate. It is chef's kiss. Once the cereal milk cookies are boiled, they're rolled in the most delicious, sweet, salty, multi corn flakes. And then once they're in the oven, they go super crispy. Now I'm just bagging up the cookies by flavour and when you order your box online you can either pick your own flavours or you can do a mixed box where we pick them for you. <laughs> Well, this cookie is about to meet its end in my mouth uh, and I can't wait, but don't worry, I'm gonna eat it after I've spoken to you. Well, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with Chen and the guys baking all the cookies today. If you head to crumbsanddoilies.co.uk, you can see how you can order them, but I'll just give you the scoop now. So if you order before 10 a.m., uh, you can get next day delivery if you're in the UK, which is great. But if you just know which date you want them for, say you've got a party you want to like cookie up, you can just order for that day as well. So if you're in the UK and you're gagging for a cookie, then you know what to do. Of course, you can always pop along to our shop if you really got a hanker in and you need it now. Uh, we always have loads of different flavors over there. And also, if you want to make your own, we've got tons of New York cookie recipes on YouTube <laughs> and also a whole chapter for them in the book. So, and also you should probably know if you don't already, we give you the recipes that we use here. We don't mess them up or tinker with them, you get the real deal. So you're getting professional bakes, guys. Uh, all, all you need to make them professional is you. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope we'll be back with more uh, behind the scenes action. If, you, if you've got something you want us to show you, then let us know in the comments below. Why the hell not? We'll do our best to get a video. Anyway, I've done enough chatting. I really just need to eat cookies, so catch you later. So warm. <laughs> you need like...